You know, someone once proposed banning private jets. Can you imagine? How would all the movie stars get to their climate change conferences? It's a funny thought, but it does bring us to an intriguing dilemma. In the world of aviation, there are two main modes of transport that we're going to be comparing today. Private jets and commercial flights. Each one has its own unique advantages and trade-offs, and we're going to take a look at them from various angles, including cost, comfort, speed, the overall experience, and other relevant factors. Let's start with the cost. It's no secret that private jets are considered a luxury, with price tags to match. On the other hand, commercial flights are often seen as the more budget-friendly option, but is that always the case? We'll be delving into the hidden costs and benefits of each. Next, we'll examine comfort. Private jets are known for their spacious interiors and personalized amenities, while commercial flights have different classes of service. But how does each mode of transport fare when it comes to providing a comfortable journey? Speed is another factor to consider. While private jets typically have faster cruising speeds, commercial airlines have the advantage of economies of scale. We'll be comparing the two in terms of how quickly you can get from point A to point B. Finally, we'll look at the overall experience. This includes everything from the booking process to the flight itself. We'll consider the level of personalization, privacy, and convenience offered by both private jets and commercial flights. Our comparison will be based on reports from a variety of trusted sources. These provide a wealth of information on the topic, giving us a comprehensive picture of the private and commercial aviation sectors. So buckle up and get ready for takeoff as we delve into the world of private and commercial aviation. First on our flight plan is the cost of flying, and let me tell you, it's not just about the price of your ticket. When we talk about cost, the first thing that comes to mind is the ticket price. But there's more to it than that. The cost of flying encompasses a vast array of factors, from the upfront ticket price to the hidden costs that sneak up on you. In the world of commercial airlines, the ticket price is often seen as the more budget-friendly option. But it's important to remember that there can be hidden fees lurking in the fine print. From baggage fees to seat selection charges, the initial cost of your ticket can quickly escalate. And let's not forget the cost of your time. Delays, cancellations, and long layovers can add up, costing you precious hours that could be spent elsewhere. On the other hand, private aviation, with its luxury and personalization, carries a higher upfront cost. Chartering a private jet is undeniably more expensive than a ticket on a commercial flight, but what you get in return is flexibility, personalization, and time savings. With access to a wider range of airports and the ability to set your own schedule, private jets offer a level of convenience that commercial airlines can't match. But the cost isn't just financial. There's also the environmental cost to consider. Private jets have a higher carbon footprint per passenger compared to commercial flights. However, it's important to note that the industry is actively working towards sustainability. So when we talk about the cost of flying, we're not just talking about dollars and cents. We're talking about time, convenience, flexibility, and the impact on our planet. It's a complex calculation, with many variables in play. As you can see, the cost of flying is a complex calculation, with many variables in play. Next, we're cruising at an altitude of comfort, where legroom is king, and in-flight meals are a royal feast. Let's talk about comfort, a crucial facet of air travel experience. The comfort levels can vary significantly between private and commercial flights. When you're aboard a private jet, the cabin is your kingdom. You have the freedom to roam around, stretch your legs, and make yourself at home. The seating arrangements are luxurious and spacious, offering a level of comfort and privacy that's hard to beat. Commercial airlines, on the other hand, are a bit of a mixed bag. While the first and business class sections offer a decent level of comfort, the economy class often leaves passengers longing for more legroom and personal space. But let's not forget, Commercial airlines have been constantly upping their game, offering premium amenities and services to their passengers, especially in their upper tier classes. Now let's talk about the in-flight meals. On a private jet, your taste buds are in for a treat. You can customize your menu, have your favorite dishes prepared by top chefs, and even pair them with the finest wines. It's like having a five-star restaurant at 30,000 feet. On commercial flights, the meal experience can be quite different. While airlines are making efforts to improve their culinary offerings, the standard in-flight meal often leaves much to be desired. That being said, certain airlines do offer gourmet meals and a variety of choices, especially in their business and first-class sections. So how do we visualize comfort? 
Imagine a scale with personal space and quality of amenities at either end. Private jets would lean heavily towards the personal space and high quality amenities, while commercial flights would be more balanced with the scale tipping based on the class of travel. Clearly, when it comes to comfort, not all flights are created equal. Now, let's shift gears and talk about speed. Because when it comes to air travel, time really is money. Imagine this, you're flying commercial. You've got to arrive at the airport hours in advance, stand in a seemingly endless queue to check in your luggage, navigate through security, and then wait some more for your boarding call. Now, compare that to a private jet experience. You pull up to the airport, your bags are taken care of, and you're in the air within minutes. No queues, no waiting. The difference is night and day. But what about in-flight speed? It's true that private jets typically have faster cruising speeds than commercial airliners. For example, a Gulfstream G650, one of the fastest private jets out there, has a top speed of Mach 0.925, or around 711 miles per hour. Now, compare that to a commercial airliner like the Boeing 747, which has a cruising speed of about 570 miles per hour. The difference might not seem significant, but when you're jetting across the country or even the globe, those extra miles per hour can really add up. However, it's not just about the speed of the aircraft, it's also about the overall travel time. Private jets have access to a wider range of airports, meaning you can often land closer to your final destination, cutting down on ground travel time. Plus, without the need for layovers or connections, you can fly direct and reach your destination faster. But here's the catch. While private aviation does offer time advantages, it comes with a higher cost. That Gulfstream G650 we mentioned earlier, it comes with a price tag of $65 million. And that doesn't even include the costs of operation, maintenance, and fuel. So while you might be able to fly faster on a private jet, you'll also be reaching for your wallet more often. Last but not least, we're landing on the overall experience. Because sometimes, it's not just about getting from point A to point B. Let's take a journey through the overall experience of both private and commercial aviation. Imagine you're about to embark on a journey. If you're flying private, you have the luxury of choosing your departure time. No more rushing to the airport three hours before your flight, only to wait in long security lines. A private flight offers flexibility, allowing you to depart and arrive when it suits you best. On the other hand, commercial flights operate on strict schedules. They might have more routes available, but they lack the flexibility private aviation offers. The convenience of setting your schedule cannot be overstated, especially for those who value their time above all else. Now let's talk about personalization. When you fly private, the sky is not just the limit, it's your playground. From selecting your onboard meals to choosing your in-flight entertainment, every aspect of your journey can be tailored to your liking. In contrast, commercial flights, while they have made strides in improving their service, still lack that personal touch. They may offer a variety of in-flight entertainment options, but the ability to customize your journey is limited. Service is another key differentiator between private and commercial aviation. On a private jet, you're more than just a seat number. You're a valued guest. The crew members know your name, your preferences, and they cater to your every need. Commercial airlines, while striving to provide good service, simply can't match the level of personalized attention offered on private flights. Privacy is another aspect where private aviation shines. It provides an environment where you can work, relax, or even hold meetings without interruptions. Commercial flights, on the other hand, are shared with hundreds of other passengers, which might not be ideal for those seeking a peaceful journey. Lastly, let's look at security. While commercial airlines have rigorous safety regulations, the enhanced security features and personalized service on private jets provide an additional layer of safety and peace of mind. As you can see, the overall experience of flying can be as different as night and day, depending on whether you're flying private or commercial. Before we conclude our journey, we need to address the elephant in the room, the environmental impact of aviation. When it comes to the blue skies, the reality isn't all that rosy. The carbon footprint of our flight choices can weigh heavy on our planet. Private jets, with their luxury and exclusivity, come with a significant environmental cost. Reports reveal that a single one-way trip from Paris to Nice in a private jet emits roughly two tons of carbon dioxide. That's equivalent to the target annual carbon budget for a person in France by the year 2050. 
It's worth noting that just 1% of air travelers are responsible for 50% of the aviation sector's emissions. This includes private jets, which are often the preferred mode of travel for the world's wealthiest individuals. But it's not all doom and gloom. The industry is not turning a blind eye to these impacts. Efforts are underway to make aviation more sustainable. From fuel-efficient engines to lighter materials, and even exploring electric propulsion, the industry is on a mission to reduce its carbon footprint. However, these initiatives are still in their infancy and have a long way to go before they can make a significant difference. On the other hand, commercial flights due to economies of scale have a lower carbon footprint per passenger. But let's not forget, they still contribute to carbon emissions on a large scale, especially given the sheer volume of commercial flights around the globe. The question then remains, how do we balance our need for speed and convenience with our responsibility to protect our planet? This is the conundrum that we, as a society, need to grapple with. It's a complex issue with no easy answers, but one thing is clear. The way we travel needs to change. As we can see, the flight to sustainability is still a long way off, but every journey starts with a single step. And with that, we've come to the end of our flight through the world of private and commercial aviation. We've soared through the costs, the comfort levels, the speed, the overall experience, and even the environmental impacts of both private and commercial flights. We've seen that private jets offer a higher degree of luxury, privacy, and exclusivity, as well as time efficiency and flexibility. On the other hand, commercial airlines are more accessible to a wide range of passengers with various travel classes, global connectivity, and lower carbon footprints per passenger. However, the choice between these two modes of air transportation isn't black and white. It largely depends on individual needs, preferences, and circumstances. So, what do you think? Would you prefer to fly private or commercial? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting comparisons. Until next time, safe travels!